What's going on guys, Knoxville 360 I figured I'd do a quick pro-con video for those contemplating whether or not to purchase the Samsung Galaxy S2 from Boost Mobile. So let's get right into it. First of all, I really like the, the design of the phone. I've been waiting for another large screen phone and this one being f over 4.5 inches, 4.52 to be exact. Uh, really fit my criteria because I really thoroughly enjoyed my ZT Warp. I didn't have any problems with mine. So going to a 4 inch screen phone was a huge difference. Even though I really thoroughly enjoyed my HTC, I figured it was time to upgrade. The actual design of the phone I thought was really, really nice. It's thin, lightweight, and the I think it's proportion. I think that they added the buttons appropriately. The only thing I could really say is I wish the volume rocker was a little bit larger like the HTC, but it is what it is and that's something that's very, very petty. I think that the camera location, now that they centered it as opposed to having it on the left or right was a good idea because when I was taking pictures in a hurry of something that you wanted to catch really quick, sometimes my finger was in the way, so it being in the center really helps me out. Once again, it's something that's very small and petty that most of you probably won't care about. However, I thought I'd point that out. When we turn on the phone, um, I thought that I'd point out a couple things. The screen resolution, due to the fact that the icons are larger than any 4-inch screen phone, they will appear a tad, I guess, distorted, as opposed to like the HTC or the LG Marquee, where they're more confined and compressed, so therefore they can have a better picture. Not saying that these do not show up well, however, those who have the HTC may critique it and say that the screen resolution is not as nice. Trust me, the resolution on this phone is awesome. Now, when we get into the camera, which is one of the highlights, 8 megapixels, so that's the highest that Boost Mobile has offered on any of their devices. Now, we went from high definition on the HTC, which was 720, to now full HD 1080. So that was a huge difference. Now in reference to the buttons, these are the brightest buttons, home screen buttons that I've seen on any device offered from Boost Mobile. And I like the fact that you can alter the settings to have them constantly on or off, or you can adjust to when and when they turn off. As opposed to just using the proximity monitor like all the previous phones. Now the notification light, I thought that was pretty neat how they incorporated it into the design without you actually knowing that it's there until you actually plug in your device or you receive a notification. Now due to the fact this is uh, Boost Mobile's first dual core processor phone, uh, you will actually be impressed on how fast this phone actually is without it, any lag at all that I experienced. And I have been using it quite a bit this morning to see if I did notice any. However, I have not yet. Speaking of insane, the internal storage on this phone is just absolutely nuts, which is why I think that they did not incorporate the micro SD card like they normally do. They always give you a two gigabyte SD card, which I will say that is one of the negatives that would have been nice to have come stock on the phone because I always like to take that uh, my pictures and, every, and my music with me every time I change the device. Now there are not a lot of stock apps so you don't have to worry about deleting a lot of um, applications or anything bogging down your RAM or, the pro or you know, your whole experience with the phone because that's why some people root their phones so they can delete stock applications. As mentioned earlier in reference to cons, I kind of wish that the volume rocker would have been a little bit larger due to the fact that the size of the phone is so large, I think that if they made it just a tad bit uh, longer on both sides, it would have been nice. Another negative thing I thought I'd point out is the battery. For an 1800 milliamp battery, I thought that it was actually kind of weak. Um, I'm already on 29% once again, so I dropped from 34 to 29% in a matter of a half an hour, not even. The clock weather app. Uh, that come stock on this phone or I'm not a big fan of. I think that they're very basic. For such a nice device, I think that they could have incorporated something along the lines of like the HTC where it was live weather and made it look a little bit, I don't know, non-generic. Now the price of the phone, I think that's kind of crazy. $370 for, the, for this S2. I think that if you are interested in purchasing this device, which I highly recommend if you are into larger screen phones like I am, 
However, Boost Mobile tends to offer so many discounts every once in a while where it's 20% off here or 10% off here that I would value this particular device at around $300. So I would wait until it drops down to the around 300 or if you're on if you're impatient i guess go ahead and purchase it i'm not saying it's a bad purchase however that's one of my biggest things is price now a couple things that i did want to note was last night um after i first turned the phone on i want to note that when i pulled it out of my pocket to actually use the phone it froze up and it turned off by itself three times in a row. Now it hasn't happened since and maybe I hit something that was in my pocket. I have noticed that the screen is very, very sensitive. When I was listening to music to test out the speaker earlier in the evening, I did notice that the music player was turning on and off by me simply just taking it, putting it up against something so I can hear the music. As mentioned in my review, the speaker on this phone gets very, very distorted at high volumes. Not to say that it's not a good speaker, but I think that that's something they could have tweaked or something along those lines so that it doesn't become distorted when you have something just merely near it. I think that other phones have better speakers, in my opinion. So those are just some quick things that I thought I'd mention. Um, so far, I am very happy with my purchase. I do love this phone so far, and I haven't noticed anything to the point where I would drastically tell you, hey, don't buy this phone because it's really, really bad or this or that. Like I said, the biggest flaws in it that I've noticed so far are obviously the price and the battery life. If you go on eBay or something along those lines, you can easily pick up one of those nice devices that you click onto your phone that will give you an extended battery, which I plan on picking up. And if it works out, I'll make sure I let you guys know. So I want to thank you guys for checking this out. If you plan on buying this phone or if you have something you want to say about it or you want to ask me, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll catch you guys next time.